Hello and welcome to our calorie calculator video. In this video we're going to talk to you about how to use our calorie calculator and get specific calories for you. When it comes to losing body fat and weight it's super important to know how many calories you need to maintain your weight and how many calories you need to consume to lose weight. Now when we talk about weight ultimately we want to reduce body fat, we don't want to reduce muscle. But being in a calorie deficit is essential for fat loss. A calorie deficit meaning consuming less calories than your body burns in a day. That means that your body has to utilize calories from body fat stores to keep the body functioning. But how do you know how many calories you need to consume? Well, use our handy calorie calculator to give you a specific and personalized number that you can then work on to reduce your body fat. Our calorie calculator will ask you your age, gender, height and weight. It will also ask you how much exercise you do on a weekly basis. Try and answer this as truthfully as possible as it will affect the amount of calories you need to consume. Once you've calculated your calories, you'll have three numbers that you can look at. It will then give you your maintenance calories, the amount of calories that you need to consume on a daily basis to maintain your current weight. So if your goal is to maintain your current weight, that's the amount of calories that you would need to consume. Now the next number down will give you the amount of calories that you need to consume if you're looking to lose one pound or just under 500 grams of weight. This will give you a pretty good rough estimate of how many calories you need to consume to lose that amount of weight weekly. If you're looking to lose weight faster, then the last number is gonna be where you need to be. This last number is gonna create a little bit more dramatic weight loss and is generally gonna be harder to sustain. So pick a number that you think is achievable in your daily life. This number will adapt over time as you lose weight, so you will need to redo your calorie calculator in the future. So now you have the amount of calories you need to consume, what you can start to do is track those calories. One of the easiest ways to track your calories is to download an app called MyFitnessPal. On here you can input all of the foods that you consume within the day and it would tell you how many calories are in those foods. Or if you've downloaded our recipe meal packs or our smoothie meal guides, you'll be able to scan the QR code and it will input those calories into your MyFitnessPal for you. Or if you prefer, you can just write the amount of calories down in that meal or that smoothie. Getting a basic grip of calories in versus calories out is essential for fat loss. So getting a rough estimation of how many calories you need to consume on a daily basis to lose weight is gonna be super important when it comes to your long-term fat loss success. For the moment, we just want you to start to think about the amount of calories that you need to consume on a daily basis to achieve your goals. So to lose under 500 grams or just under a kilo each week, what do you need to consume to achieve that result? And don't forget, it's calories in versus calories out. So if you expend more calories, aka do more exercise or more active, go for walks or runs, or maybe have a more active lifestyle, you're going to burn more calories. So it's important you have a good estimation of how many calories you're burning and how many calories you're consuming. One way of doing this is using a fitness tracker watch to help estimate the amount of calories that you've burned in a day. Having one of these watches on for a 24 hour period with the correct inputs in your height, weight, age, can give you a pretty good idea about how many calories you're burning in a day. For a reduction in body fat or weight, you just need to consume under this amount of calories. So if you burn 2,500 calories in a day, you just need to consume 2,200 to be in a pretty good calorie deficit. Again, the bigger the deficit, the quicker the weight loss. And that's all for now, but hopefully this video made sense. If you do have any questions, feel free to send me an email and we can go over a little bit more about the specifics and the calories that you need to consume to create fat loss or weight loss. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.